So let's try to do this reaction together um, now. So first off, um, well, this one doesn't have any numbers, so we'll just use pluses and minuses and stuff, okay? But first off, is this an endothermic or exothermic reaction? Endothermic. Endothermic. So what does that mean? If I touch this af after the reaction happens, if I touch the flask that it's in, it's, my hand is going to be cold or hot? It's going to be cold. Cold, right? It'll be cold to the touch. Well, why? Because the energy that was from the surroundings went into the system, okay? So it got colder, okay? So it was... If you thought differently, remember what's, just remember the, the hump, okay? So let's just draw it now. It's hard for me to look over there, so I'm just going to see L. And then we've got up here uh, 2NO plus Cl2. So, you see, lower energy, higher energy. So we're going to have to input energy to get up there, right? And remember, it's going to have to be more energy than the uh, products are themselves, okay? So, remember what did we say? The difference between the reactants and the products? What do we call that? That's delta G. Or the change in total energy, change in total free energy, and is that going to be positive or negative? Positive. positive, right? Why? Because we've gained, we've put energy in the bank. Remember, okay? Activation energy. Where does that start from? From the reactants, okay? So you got to watch out. Some people will start their activation energy here, okay? Because you know, they just think it's the highest thing. But no, it's where you're starting, okay? Remember we called this EA or uh, delta, delta G double dagger, okay? So I'll write both of those, whichever one you prefer. When you get to organic chemistry, they really talk about delta G double dagger more often. Okay. Um, and up here at the top, what is this? Yeah, the TS, or the transition state. And is that an actual molecule? No, -uh, it's nothing, right? It's something that's, it's like a knockout blow, okay? It's not something that you can isolate. But you can draw a picture of it, like we did last time. So let's draw kind of the picture that they have drawn here. So you guys are going to have to, it's hard for me to see. So what is that? O double bonded to an N, right? And then the Cl, and in fact, this bond should be dashed, right? Because we're making N up, right? And then we're making also Cl2. So there's these two of these things that are kind of next to each other. Hopefully, that's not cut off. But they come together, right? And then. As this bond starts to form, those bonds start to break, okay? So a lot of times you'll see this, and I should have wrote this last time, in brackets, because it does, it's not an actual, what we call species or molecule. And a lot of times you'll also see it with the double dagger up there, okay? Just to clearly indicate to you that that's the transition state, okay? And not like an intermediate. Okay, which is more stable than the transition state. Is everybody okay with the, so this is an endothermic reaction, right? Okay, so, so remember, it gets colder when you touch it. Everybody cool with this one? Any questions? Okay. You guys are doing pretty good. It's easy when you do pictures, I think, you know? It makes things, it makes life a lot easier.